Adrian Pederick is South Australia's Shadow Minister for Emergency Services. Adrian, good to have you with us again on Flow. Yeah, good day, Ricky. Good day, listeners. Adrian, we um, had a close call, I think I'm going to call it, uh, at the last harvest, a massive harvest that came in, and uh, there were concerns about the CFS slash the state government approach on when farmers would be forced to stop harvesting. Just track us back through the history of the last harvest, and then we'll look at where we go from there. Well, look, we did have a close call because we had a, uh, we've got the new system, the new uh, national system. Uh, for managing uh, fire risk alerts and uh, so we had, did have one day, it was a Saturday, uh, it was a catastrophic warning and uh, yet farmers can still harvest on a catastrophic day so long as the fire danger index and they've got equipment, uh, farmers have got equipment to measure that themselves which manages uh, things like uh, weather variability, heat and wind and so forth and uh, you know people could have harvested for a while in the morning but then uh, obviously, uh, other people that uh, were concerned about whether they saw um, harvesters moving or not uh, made calls to those people and said uh, they couldn't harvest. So there's been, you know, a little bit of that uh, go on, and, and we've had a reasonably uh, safe harvest period. I mean, there obviously has been fires right across the state. Uh, but I must commend all our volunteers, uh, CFS personnel, uh, MFS personnel and um, farm firefighters uh, for what they've done uh, to contain those issues. But moving forward, we must make sure we get the right results so that we can balance uh, the needs of farmers and uh, also balance uh, the needs of the community alongside of the farmers. Well, I noticed from what Grain Producers SA are saying at the moment, there's this new working group to be chaired by former Liberal leader Rob Kerrin about this, but Grain Producers SA seem to want, as they succeeded in getting for last harvest, the old code to stay in place. Where is, where's the middle going to be on this one? Well, I think the old code is a sensible place to land uh, that has been working quite well, uh, and I must stress it's a voluntary code, and we don't want to dissuade farmers uh, from using uh, the voluntary code. Uh, what we have is a, with the new system is a different way of measurement and it all gets a bit interesting because one's called the FBI and one's called the FDI. So we've had the fire danger index that uh, the rating is at 35 uh, to cease harvest, um, but the fire behaviour index is at a rating of 40. Now the argument put to me is, uh, and it seems very sound to me, is that that is actually not directly in line uh, with the fire uh, danger index rating of 35. So, and, and the other issue is uh, the new reading is measured at 10 metres in the air and uh, the old reading uh, was measured, is, is measured at 2 metres. So there's a whole lot of different um, issues here. And that all gets pretty technical, Adrian Pedrick, but I'm guessing the pointy end of it is that the concern is you're going to be restricted from harvesting more often under the new code. Well, that's if it sticks to the new rating uh, that is being talked about running. Now, I think then, what we, and you're right, it is pretty technical and that's, that's part of the issue. Um, I think what needs to happen is for uh, these, these discussions to go on between Grain Producers South Australia, uh, the uh, fire authorities, whether it's the CFS and uh, the police, and make sure we get the right outcome because... What we don't want is what happens in Western Australia, and I've witnessed it there, I've done a bit of work over there over harvest in previous times, is where there can be a weather forecast the night before saying, oh, it's going to be a terrible day tomorrow and you can't even move a utility uh, on your farm. So, And then the weather can be completely different uh, for whatever reason uh, the next day. So what we need to do is make sure that farmers can get their crops off in a timely manner. Uh, we had another tough harvest. It was starting to shape up a little bit like 30 years ago, the 1992-93 harvest was a, a wet harvest. And the longer uh, grain uh, or oil seeds, etc., beans are on the stalk, the more chance there is of uh, weight getting knocked out of that grain and uh, yield losses. So we have to make sure that farmers have the ability to uh, harvest their crops in a timely manner um, but also look at the safety of the community. And the other thing is farmers have a lot better fire units now. You've got chaser bins with 4,000 litres in them directly following harvesters. You've got uh, ex-CFS trucks on farmers' places. Uh, you've even got uh, the Oshkosh, like the air airport-style fire trucks that some people have as well. So people 
are very well equipped uh, with their own units. And, um, you know, we just got to make sure we get the right outcome so that we can get uh, productivity alongside protection. Yeah, I get the impression, Adrian Pedrick, the Shadow Emergency Services Minister, that what is going on here is a concern that there's a sort of Adelaide-focused or, I guess, a bureaucratic direction here that doesn't necessarily pay regard to, A, local climatic factors, but, B, uh, what actual farmers have in terms of firefighting equipment in their own hands. Well, I think that could be part of it, absolutely. And I think uh, there needs to be a global view of it and not just base it on a, a certain figure, on a certain weather rating. And um, look, uh, no one wants fires. People are attending to their equipment over harvest. They're blowing down their harvests um, more and more. Uh, as I said, the uh, firefighting equipment is getting better and better all the time alongside, uh, you know, the upgraded CFS appliances across the state, whether it's tankers, whether it's uh, 3,000 litre trucks, 4,000 litre trucks, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But... Um, we do have to make sure uh, that we can make uh, one of the great pillars of, of our um, state, agriculture, can boom. And as I said, we have to get the balance right on the other end. And uh, I was certainly taking calls during harvest on, a, on that Saturday and, you know, people were rightly concerned. They'd been uh, pulled up uh, because other people, um, from what I understand, didn't quite understand that they could harvest at that time and uh, they lost uh, valuable production because it can cause a lot of angst at the local level. Yep, and that's certainly what we want to avoid. So uh, we'll see how this one progresses with this new task force chaired by Rob Kerrin. Adrian Pedrick, thanks so much for joining us today on Flow. No worries. Thanks, Ricky.